on this day, the mighty will will decide my fate. I'm going to play whatever it lands on. I swear. I promise. I put in one, one not horror game for my own enjoyment. I hope it's that. You know, I couldn't decide. I wasn't going to really spin the wheel. I was going to play Submerged. Just because I want to play it. I've been waiting years. Because I saw it ages ago. And I knew it just looked so fun. So I was going to play it, obviously. But then I thought, oh no, you're a horror channel. And I'm like, am I? Am I? Is this what you want to see? Do you want to see me afraid? Perhaps. This might not even be scary. We're working up. There, there are games coming out that I need to play. I'm going to have a... Resident Evil 2 playthrough soon, the remake, in preparation for Resident Evil 4, the remake. It's time. Need to get ready for work. Look at that little rat. I wish I had one of those. So this is one of my biggest criticisms, and I hope I don't get um assaulted for this. But where's the kitchen? What the? What is this? Is this a kitchen? Where am I? It is dark outside. Wouldn't this be awful? I, I feel like there's no worse fate than being like a night shift employee. Unless you're a complete recluse, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh, look. There's the convenience store. In good old Japanese... Okay, okay. I have a confession, guys. I know I'm spending a long time here. <clears throat> 80s Japan aesthetic is beautiful to me. Like, not that I'd want to live in it, but, like, I'd want to exist in it. Like, something about, like, this VHS, like, maybe, I don't know, Studio Ghibli 1978. It just does something. Pick up flashlight? Yes. <gasps> oh, no, that's awful. Man, this place is gross. Well, this is awful. I would live here. It's not that bad. And like these weird things, I've always wanted to go to Japan. Um, I feel like I just like their architecture. Again, don't want to live there. Just want to be there. Look at these delicious little waterways. You fall into the abyss down there. Wow, isn't that a shot? It's kind of beautiful. Is that a homeless man? Hi! You look atrocious. I know what really happened here. I was called to warn you all by the name I cannot speak of. The day of judgment will come. Yeah. Does anyone else just... I really like this type of music. Oh my god, you made it. Mm hmm. Oh no. It's just that I recently heard someone had fell off the bridge you just crossed. There was an old lady that said she saw, the little, saw a man walking down the street with his legs completely bent the other way. Scary stuff. If only this was a true story. Ha ha! Ha! Ha ha! <gasps> it's anime. I can just take as much as I want. I can take a whole box home. They'll never know. Oh. What's this? I feel okay knowing that What's-His-Face is like... Hmm. Am I breaking the game by going too far ahead? Well, that's pretty spooky. Is that going to open up? I hope it doesn't. It probably is. Dungeon, yes. Dude, no. Come back. Come back. Don't leave me. Look at his pinky, man. It's like flottling in the air. What a beautiful thing. Hi. I'm like seeing double vision. I want to see where whatnot goes. Imagine paying. So I guess if, if literally someone buys like a one soup. Whoa. Square. Just squeezes away. Bye, dude. Yes. 
dude, I could really go for this. Just like a convenience store simulator? For how long? Hmm. I tell you, the funniest thing to me is I, I used to watch, like, horror YouTube. And now I don't. Because if I do, I'll spoil all the good games. Because I never had the courage to play these by myself. <clears throat> ever. So I watch someone else. I'm coming, bro. I'm coming. Watch someone else play. It makes me feel a lot better. Look at his little inquisitive eyebrow. Hi. You look like a dolphin, mate. Oh. How old are you? You sound like a little girl. Wow. His presence, as Play-Doh as it was, brought me comfort. Now that comfort is gone. Photorealism. We've recently incorporated this system exclusively to convenience stores that are open late at night. Looks like this package is shipped directly to the store. And oh, the name matches your tag. I think this is for you. Yeah, sure. I'll take your package. Bye, mate. It's a nice boot you got there. Jeez. You know, maybe I was wrong. Maybe night shift isn't all that bad. Although I'm sure you meet some sort of crazy jerk. <laughs> Did I just take a box home? What was in the box? Screw this, mate. There's nothing in there. Okay, fine. Dementor me up, VHS. What you got? Oh, watch closely? Well, sure, I'll watch closely. Well, whoever this ghost is, he went through a lot of effort. That looks like he's right behind my place of employment. Hmm. It's the following day. I waited till the following day. Okay, fine. I'm going. Until it tells me to do something. That's always a possibility. Hello. First night. It's way darker. Shut the door. No, no, no. Oh, oh. Okay, you know what? Fine. I should have played Submerged. Is what I should have done. I don't know why I play horror games. I, I, I'm not really a chicken. I'm just a, uh, what's the word? It is so, maybe if it's like so dark, I won't see anything that freaks me out. Perhaps. My heart rate is increasing. I feel it. It's going ba-dump, ba-dump, ba-gunk, gunk. Ah, oh, hey, dude. Hey, hey. So I heard you reported that the doors would open on their own now. So I heard you reported. Yeah, well, we got a guy to check the sensor, and it seems like the wirings were loose. Oh, you thought it was some sort of poltergeist? I see those on TV all the time, but they're all scripted. Ghosts aren't real, after all. I saw some rats behind the store yesterday. Someone must have left the guard to been open. The first person to see this note has to get rid of the rodents. ASAP. Your manager. Get, get your tail back here. He knows what he's doing. Oh, screw that old lady, man. Look at that. Can I help you? It's literally the abyss. Well, I ain't doing junk with her, man. I'm gonna go get these rats. They call me Rat Man. That was my first name. Dude, someone didn't leave the trash open. They completely tipped. I hate this right here. Because this is... The crap. Don't do any crap. I don't... Please. Okay. Someone has to handle the rats? Oh. You know what? Oh, hi, rat. What you... Can I step on it? Dude, that rat makes me feel so safe right now. 
Reminds me of It Follows, a movie that I will never watch. Oh, uh huh. Where's Ken Kun? You know where Ken Kun is? Uh, I thought I heard his voice. This was my daughter's house. What did you do? How dare you? What did I do? I imagine breaking some heavy beats might do it. Oh, oh, oh no! No! Hi! Did I just like spray it with like an air can until it goes away? Or am I gassing these things? Rat. There's a rat. Oh! Oh crap! It's a rat! Please, to pretend you didn't see that. He just tells me, oh man, you know that package you took the other day? Yeah, um, it means you're cursed. Eternally. Oh, you know, the unstoppable trend on ordering everything online. Anyway, there seems to be a package that needs to be picked up here. Oh, did you look at that? A box. Here, give package, yes. Get out of here. He just walks through the wall. What a man. Raining. What is that? Get umbrella. Yeah. Here's my flashlight. No. None of that. Absolutely not. I want zero part of where that's going. So someone knocked. They left my door wide open. Open it. Yeah. back inside yeah dude if someone was giving me some like vcr tapes i don't know what i'd do please watch closely okay can i go to work now I cannot wait to get into my convenience store job. Toilet. There's some wide butthole right there. Look at that. That's the toilet seat. You're straight levitating. It's like a beacon shining on the hill. I'll take it though. Need some help? I'm Hamada. So there's something wrong with the air conditioning. Your boss seemed desperate in keeping the food fresh. Hate to be working this late, but he pays me well, you know? Don't mind me. I'll just quickly check the outside units and head right out. I'll buy him. He's gonna do stuff. What do you want? <gasps> <gasps> oh, I hate you. <sighs> oh, you promise me to get out of here. Get your tail out of here. Who, what? Someone's been sending you VHS tapes? That sounds like a perfect idea for a horror flick. Hmm? It's probably just a prank. I doubt it's anything. I mean, come on. It's just a video. I hate. I hate that. Okay, what? What do you want, man? Some products are missing on the shelf. Always keep the shelves full. That's our motto. So please be stocked them by tomorrow morning. Your manager. Done. Punch in. I want my hours. Oh. Jeez, I can't believe you did that to me, man. Kill him! Kill him! Aww. Open AC? Yes, I'll fix it myself! Oh, there's a key in there. I didn't even notice. I was just fiddling around and then I saw that it might be important. Huh. Where, oh, where could this possibly go? Hey! Are you the only one working here? Are you the only one working here? I can't believe this. What kind of a manner puts a girl on a midnight shift alone? I see you have no choice. Well, at the very least, I'll give you my protection charm. Now be careful. I'm taking that. 
Are a bunch of people trying to hoodoo me? I feel like that could be happening. Hmm. CCTV. We're watching. Watching your every step. I don't have to go back there. I don't have to go back there. I got nothing to say to it. I it's, it's it was exactly what I said would be back there. Someone crawling around on all fours. I I knew it. You knew it. Oh God! What was that? Hello? Okay, fine. You know what? Screw it. I'm back behind the counter. I do not know what that was. Oh, yeah. It's everything I knew that would, like, start happening is happening. Fine. Take me to it. Stupid door. What do you want? I'm shutting... No, you know, I'm not even. What's the issue? Go figure. What is it? I can't even. You know what? I feel safe in here. So I'm just going to sit in this corner. <laughs> Cut that out. Cut that out. Oh, it washes your butt for you. Okay, let's get it. Oh. It's a poltergeist. Or it's the manager. He's here to say hi to me. Hi, what's up? I'm... Stop it. You stop it right now. I would go straight home. Well, actually, I'd be a little nervous to leave the lights. Okay, where's the, where's the creepy demon thing? Where is it? Come on. I keep accidentally clicking out. Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously it wants you dead. I don't really know what's to be said about it. Uh... Okay, fine. Open the door. Are you here? Fine, fine. I'm going to go check the thing. The, the horrible, horrible thing that we all know is out there. Oh, man. Why do I subject myself to this? That's the real question. I, it's a question I ask. She's tall, though. She a tolly. Oh no. Oh no. I knew I'd have to go back here. What's back here? Is it a... The door is unlocked. However, my arm goes numb. When I try to open it, it feels that something is grabbing me. I can't open it. Why can't you open it? Is that a bike? Let's get this bike and get out of here, mate. <laughs> oh no. Kind of cool back here. I thought it would be like a bit of a scarier area, but it's just a kind of vibing garden. Was she buried here or something? It's possible. Oh uh, yeah, you can't open it. It's unlocked, but you can't open it. Okay, yeah. Going back inside. So I guess. Oh, yeah. I guess I should pick up. Talismans? Is this some Naruto Shippuden sort of deal going on? Oh, I know. I'm going to go put it on the door. <laughs> Nullify the evil spirits. To some... Like, I feel like... I feel like it's always like a girl asking... It was literally the rain. It was literally the rain. I feel like I'm on a wire's end the whole time. Booba -boo Bear, you back here, Booba -boo Biscuit? If I flirt with it, it'll make me feel better. Exercise the door. <laughs> Woo. What the doohickey? Manager? Four?
How long has he been dead? Oh, that's the most horrific noises. Oh, I'm in. What's up, Eha? I got a flashlight here. Grr. Grr. My rats. No way I'm going back. What a nightmare. Was that all a dream? No, it wasn't a dream. Don't you do it. Don't you make me go back. Is that all a dream? Do I just wake up here? This is like the most worst fates. He's like horrible little fates. Oh look, it's a, uh, it's my box set. Come here. Let's watch the last DVD. Watch it closely. Yes, yes. Let's watch it closely. Whoever this is has some, like awful like recording skills. I want to see my coworker. Where you at, bud? You dead in the bathroom? Yeah. You here? Gotta go see what my manager wants. It's, it's just how it goes, you know. Oh, then he is dead. He's totally dead. Oh look, the door is open. Everything's open. Well, off we go, my friends. To the violent conclusion. Come on. Let's go say hi to Wendy. Nails? Nails? Are nails scary? What's up? There's a little boy. Hi, little boy. You get away from there. Where are you going? What do you want, little kid? I don't like little kids. They're creeping around. Is that the one I turn on? Where are you going? Was that the answer? I gotta write this down. He's giving me the answers. I hope there's not like a time limit. Like if I don't do this quick enough, is Carrie gonna come beat my giblets? Potentially. Aha! Now it's the top one. Hello? Was that right? Can I leave? Let's see if the boy guides me farther. Well, that was it. Time to go to the house and cry about it. Please don't eat me. The puzzle kind of chilled me out. And I feel like I'm going to be retensed. Hey, boy. You want to be friends? Don't you, papa. Don't you get away from me. Don't you get away from me. Don't you do it. What the crap was tall? Oh, tall women. Don't make... Can I just go home? Can I just... I just go home. Why wouldn't I just go home? It's VHS. Do we okay? Do we go home or do we go check out the house? I'm going home. I'm going home. You know what? My decision is that I'm gonna do what I would do in real life, which is go home. And I wouldn't take the VHS, but you know what? I assume you kind of have to. Yes, take it home. What horrible sounds. Give me my VHS tape on it. We have a choice here. 
Do we ruin someone else's life? Accept our fate? Deny our fate, but probably still get it. Hmm? Okay, we're watching it. Yes, we're watching it. Come on, put it in. Yes, I'm sure. Yep, I knew it. Knew it. 100% knew it. Hello? Hello? What the crap is that? Oh, it just wants to cuddle. Just let it cuddle. If it wants to cuddle, it wants to cuddle. So just let it cuddle. I should have thrown it away. I should have thrown it away. That's what I would have done in real life. I can't. Sleep paralysis? You see the little head in the door, though? They're like singing to me. Oh! Hi! You know. I hate options, mate. I hate them. A game by Chili's Art. Did I got I got the bad ending that seems like I shouldn't have watched it. <sighs> I should have got a shovel and went and dug up that kid. If you're interested in supporting Patreon, mm. oh sure. If you guys want to, there it is. Oh that felt like the most unsatisfying ending. Okay. I, I don't I'm not gonna keep you long, but I just I wanna know, but I don't wanna have to replay the whole thing. So motivational, yeah. I'm, I'm sure. Is this the good ending? It's ending one, so I assume it might be. So she's in the bed still. Uh, Naughty Kitty is the channel, by the way. Uh, if you couldn't tell. See, but if you throw it away, it, it doesn't make the demon not there. You know what I mean? Like, like the tape already had what was on the tape. Okay, shadow at the foot of the bed. Wait, so the same exact thing happens for ending one and ending two. Okay, this is where you ship it away. So the only good ending is to, like, doom somebody else. That's hilarious. If it even is a good ending. I was sickened by the whole situation. I sealed the VH VHS tape carefully and decided to send it off to the sender. Fortunately, the sender's address was on the box. When I was done preparing to send it off, I felt my tense shoulders relax. Too much had I happened in a short span. My mind could keep up. I knew I had to rest, but I couldn't fall asleep. Everything about the store terrified me. Inevitably, I had to sit down on a chair to clear up my head. What did I see? Was everything I witnessed even real? Although I was scared, I knew I had to know the truth. I wanted to know what had happened and why. So I turned to the internet. Hmm, Reddit. About the store, I found a few old articles and forums talking about the location of where the building was made. One comment on a strange forum stood out to me. It said, there seemed to have been gruesome killings at the property. I searched for the same user's comments in 2009. There was a case where a man who was the mainstay of the family committed a murder-suicide. Oh boy. I determined to investigate the incident further. September 14th, the man killed his child with a knife, kitchen knife, while his wife was off to a grocery store, to a local supermarket. When the wife came back, it said that she was killed in an extreme way. He then hung himself on the same day. They say that the woman was pregnant at the time of her death. The woman was killed with several nails punctured onto her along with her child in her stomach. I wanted to throw up from the obscene images, but I knew I had to continue. There was a guy that replied to the comment and said that he worked at the same place as him. According to him, the man was often harassed by his boss at work and he had complained to several colleagues, and on the day of the incident, it is said that he had an emotionless face. 
Imagining what the family had gone through, desperation, depression, and hatred occupied my head. It was very painful. With tears in my eyes, I closed the internet gently and called the manager to talk about everything I experienced during the night shift and what I had discovered. However, the calls were never picked up. It was the same over and over again. Then I received a phone call from Mr. Hoso, a franchise leader who I had never met. I had a bad feeling about it. Then with a shivering voice, he said, the manager is dead. Go figure. I couldn't breathe, so it wasn't a dream. And when I asked about the place where he was found, Mr. Hoso said that there was old storage behind a convenience store, and he was found there after a day of his death. I dropped my phone. I quit my part-time job with a broken feeling. After quitting, I would avoid going near the convenience store whenever I could because every time I passed in front of the store, I would always feel a sharp stare towards me, and I wouldn't be able to help but to try and pass as quickly as possible so as not to look at the building. A day later, the store had closed down. The reason seems to be to poor management, but further details were not publicized. At that point, I didn't have the means or the courage to examine it anymore. After a while, the memories of the convenience store started to haze down a bit. This is a lot of exposition. Holy cow. One day, I passed by the now closed down store. I heard a children's voice. There I saw the woman. When I looked in my hand, I had picked up one of the rusted nails that had fallen in the middle of the site. Is this like a true story or something? Because... That's odd. That's odd. So, like, the other two are the exact same ending where you don't, like, send it off to somebody. So it is like The Grudge. Because in The Grudge, you had to get someone else to watch the VHS for you to be okay. That's, like, freaky, but not the scariest thing. Like, the, the scariest thing was that man behind the door. That freaked me out more than anything else. Well, oh, well, there you have it. Uh, murder, suicide. And for this time for real, until I see you next time. Ciao.